Hello everyone, my name is Alberto, welcome back to my channel. Uh, a little uh, sort of intro before we start. I'm sorry, it's not going to be very visually appealing, but I, maybe in editing I'll figure out some pictures of my dog or something. Anyway, uh, I'm back. I sort of took a little break because of all the situations been happening in Europe at the moment with the war in Ukraine. It has hit close to home. It, uh, I had to take a, a couple of weeks to sort of uh, get my bearings. So it just felt not insensitive, but kind of a bit pointless to just sort of keep on making uh, my sort of random videos without addressing it first. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry I took a break, uh, that's the main reason for it. Uh, I hope that's not affecting you or your families and you're all okay. Uh, but yeah, that was it. So that said, let's move on. I was thinking about doing a, sort of a small, a series of videos about uh, pattern making a bit more directly. I did speak a little bit about pattern making in the past. If you haven't seen it, I'll link the video somewhere. Pattern making is what I do. And once you're trained, it is not necessarily simple, but it, you do understand the mechanics behind it. So it, it, it's not as tricky, but I can understand that from absolute beginner, being that it is somewhat technical and um, based on geometry, it might be a bit difficult. So I thought, um, to start and do a proper drafting series of videos. So I showed you how to get some patterns from an existing object that is kind of pattern making, but not really. So we're gonna go more into how to actually make a pattern from scratch. I have been commissioned to make some uh, aprons, uh, not uh, classic aprons, but pottery aprons. Pottery aprons differ uh, mostly uh, because they have a, a split leg. Uh, it could be a slit down the middle, which is just has some yeah. binding around it. Sorry about the cat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> some binding around it just to finish it and hem it, or it could be with panels. Now, what I'm going to do is the panel one. So a little bit of explanation before we start. Let's try to remove the cat. So this is a basic apron. I couldn't find the classic one with the top as well, but just so we understand each other. It's sort of basically a, a, a panel that you tie at your waist. And uh, usually it has the top part as well in order to cover you and protect you from splashes. And the top part in the classic basic apron has a loop that goes around your head. Now the basic apron is usually in one piece, but ours is gonna be in two or three pieces. Now I will insert, I did record a little bit of how to draft it. However, yesterday when I was trying to record for some reason, it completely corrupted my footage. So we'll just skip to a little bit, try to explain with a voiceover and I'll see you in a second. All right, here we are. I'm gonna try to do my best with the footage that I have left. Um, so first of all, I'm working on a folded uh, paper. That's because it's just easier to obtain a um, full pattern just by drawing half. Because normally in pattern making, you just draw half of almost everything. Um, what I wanted you to understand with this video is I could give you specific measurements of everything, but that makes little sense to me because I want you to understand that if you do it yourself you learn how to eyeball proportions and that's one of the most important things in making your own patterns because yes you can find stuff that's already made or with specific measurements in mind but when you're making something for yourself uh, the, the standard is almost never going to be good enough so it's important that you try and make things for yourself. So for example, when I'm tracing the bottom of it, you'll see in a bit, I did a little scheme uh, with different measurements of for the different parts. So for the front part, for example, you'll know that the waist bit 
it's not going to get all the way to your back. So you want it to get almost to your side, but not really. And that's going to depend on the size of your body. Same for the, the flaps, let's call them. They're not going to get all the way to the center of your back. They're just going to go to basically a third. So this is why I'm not giving you specific measurements, because you'll have to find them up, find them yourself. Even the height of the top part, uh, for example, I did uh, about 25 centimeters, which is 10 inches. This is because I'm doing sort of a unisex um, thing that should cover most bodies. But if you're very petite, that might be too big for you. Um, because even though you can regulate the height with the straps, you want to do something that fits harmoniously on your body. So, uh, if you want, you can check the measurements there in centimeters that I have on the little scheme before, and you can do the same. But I really encourage you to just try and sort of measure your own body or your mannequin or a friend, someone to try and learn the proportions yourself, and then try and make up your own. That way you'll see uh, how then you have to modify things and change them in order to reach the effect that you want. Because that's the most important thing. Uh, pattern making is most of the times made up of just kind of deciding numbers yourself. And... So it, it is really important that you learn how to do that. Um, again, if you want specific numbers, you can just use mine, uh, checking before. But you really don't need to do that. You just need to come up with yours. And this is what will help you in the long run. Same with uh, the finishing details, but we'll talk about this more in the next video. So we are back, we have our pieces. This is the front, it is folded on half, so you, when you open it, you do have the full piece. This is for ease of cutting. You could cut on the fold, like with many things. So you fold the fabric in half, just do this pattern piece and just cut this on a fold, so when you open it, you get that. But being that this piece, um, it's gonna be doubled for finishing purposes. Um, we will need to cut two at a time, so it's just easier to do this. In my case, I have marked a sort of random line, which is where our two front panels are gonna overlap, because as I said, in our split leg apron, we're gonna go for the two paneled one. This you can sort of uh, make up, or you can just make this, cut it, cut the two panels, and sort of pin them together, try it on, and see how big of a gap you want in order for it to be comfortable. You can very simply just try it. In order to have the same, we'll have to mark the same distance, which is uh, nine centimeters in my case. So we're gonna mark the same distance on the other side because these are gonna overlap both ways. Now, another thing you might want to mark is where to attach your cords. There's different types of cords, so it depends on what you're gonna use. And in general, you can avoid that because you're gonna use uh, the corner as a guide. So basically, we're just gonna place your end of your, corn, of your cord on the corner and that's gonna command the distance. That said, there's different types of cords. Uh, these, for example, are some cotton twill. This is very soft. It's 100% cotton. It can be washed several times and it becomes even softer and fluffier. This is my preferred choice, but you could go for synthetic. Um, it comes in many, many different sizes, so you just get the one that you need. So I'm not going to mark that, but you could. Uh, just as long as you know the width of your cord. This will make it easier when you sew and you sandwich the cord between the two layers. So that's it for the front. This is 
the panel. Again, I made one because we're going to cut two out of these because this is not going to be doubled. I put a three centimeter hem at the bottom to give it a bit more weight so it stays nice and straight. One centimeter sewing allowance all around. This is sort of a liberal measurement. So if you want something that's uh, made to measure, you will check your waist and check where you want the panel to end on your body. But being that it's an apron, it doesn't really matter. Now, if you were to sew this straight with one panel, you would basically get a basic classic apron. You could do that and you would have just this tiny little extra at the top. However, we're going to sew this like so. And we're going to have another panel that's going to overlap here. This is going to create a slit in the middle that's deep enough. So where when you are sitting to make your pottery, this is going to cover your legs. And where it's comfortable and it also looks nice and stylish when you are wearing it. As you can see, we have a much deeper side. This is where we're going to attach our second cord and you get this corner. Now, if you like this corner, you'll keep it like this. If you don't like this corner, which is an option, you will simply round it up. So you will add some fabric here and round this up in a nice swoopy motion. Now I'm going for more of a simple straight line. So I want something that's kind of almost geometric. So I want lines everywhere. Um, so I'm just going to keep it like this. You could also change the line of the part that overlaps. Um, meaning that this is straight at the moment, but we could angle it inwards in order to have this part more protected, this more open. Again, this is my sample. So I'm going to go for straight, simple, minimal. And then I can go, I can check when I made it, what modifications I want to make. Another thing you might want to do in this case is add one or more pockets. You could add a pocket to the front top part, like a central pocket, like with the um, dungarees. You can add a tiny pocket. You can add pockets on the lower part. And this is where you decide. I am not going to at the moment because what I prefer to do is just put it together, sew it in some calico, something very cheap, and then straight up draw on where I want the pocket. That way I can visualize very easily the size and shape of the pockets and the height when I put it on um, me, the client, whoever this is for. So very, very simply, we have our two pattern pieces. And in the next video, we're going to cut it and sew it and put it together. This way is as simple and maybe even kind of silly this seems. It is quite important to understand the very, very basics of pattern pieces. So uh, this is fully customizable. You can make it the length you want, you can make it the width you want, and there's all different finishes. Now I know what kind of finishes I want to use, for example, for the hem, but you could absolutely do wider side seams. That way you basically fold the side three centimeter as the hem. So you get a whole, a more heavy tactile uh, side that stays straighter and nicer. It also depends on the fabric you're using, but this is all stuff that you need to learn and experiment and sort of work with in order to gain some experience. Very, very simple, but I hope you understood the point of the video. Uh, here, the cat is back. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video where we're actually going to make the apron. So it would be very nice if you put a like on the video and subscribe if you aren't already. It's a great help. And I'll see you next time. Bye, have a great day.